utterly spoilt for racing choice this weekend as we bring you all the excitement from Crankworks Whistler and the legendary MTB Alpine Cup in Verbier. But that's not all because we also have the Profix Swiss Bike Cup and the Carpathian MTB Epic as well. So there's lots to get into. Let's do it. It's the race show. Okay, to Crankworks for the Fox Air DH. Now, Finn Isles celebrated his 19th birthday by winning the Fox Air DH event at Crankworks with a two second lead over Magnus Manson, the Canadian national champ. Now, over on the women's podium stood who else? Jill Kintner, who later said, this feels great. I was ready for that, I bet she was. As she took a sixth consecutive win in the event, standing next to her second place was Canadian national champ via Veerback, with Casey Brown in third place. And talking about Fox Air DH, I heard a funny story from Neil Donahue the other day, who said when he raced it, he actually came down and missed the finish line. He went down the wrong chute and actually rode past all of the finish line and the crowd into the pits. No time recorded. <laughs> Right, Rock Shock's Pump Track Challenge. Caroline Buchanan's return to racing after suffering injuries sustained in a car crash saw her first appearance at Crankworks Pump Track Challenge, going head to head with who else? Jill Kidner. Stealing the win in both rounds secured the title for Buchanan. This year, as she said, it's pretty surreal. I came to this event with pretty low expectations. You can imagine why that would be after that horrible crash, and it's great to see her back. Now, French rider Chanet Gounet faced off against Thomas Lemoyne, ultimately securing him the Pump Track World Championship title. However, the American BMX racer Max Hudson was waiting for him in the gold medal match, in which Gounet lost both rounds. Gutted. Still, you are world champs, not too bad. Okay, more Crankworks, the 100% dual slalom. The women's event saw five-time winner Jill Kintner face off against Australian rider Danielle Beercroft. After back-to-back -back battles and trading wins, Beercroft finally overthrew the reigning champion on a downhill bike, no less. When questioned on her bike of choice, she said, I literally think it was the best idea she'd ever had. It just ripped up all the corners, all the straights, everything. Despite losing out on the win in pump track and dual slalom, Jill Kinter accumulated enough points to secure her the title as Queen of Crankworks for yet another year. Congratulations, Jill Kinter. We've said her name a lot today. Over in the men's dual slalom, Carl Strait took the win off his friend Bubba Warren. Strait is no stranger to Crankworks. He's been competing since 2004 when Crankworks began and has taken numerous wins and podiums in that time. Still on Crankworks, Red Bull Joyride. History was made at this year's Red Bull Joyride uh, with Nikolai Rogatkin winning his third Crankworks slope style event in one season and earning the never before awarded Triple Crown. The Triple Crown is pretty prestigious and is the sign of the most consistent rider who is willing to push boundaries and never hold back. Definitely attributes that come to mind when you think of Nikolai Rogatkin. It wasn't easily won though. Canadian Brett Reader was set on winning on home soil and he came out swinging. His first run was huge uh, but he crashed on the final feature attempting his new signature trick a flat drop backflip op hotel whip. Uh, yeah. Uh, Brett put everything together on his second run down, moving ahead of Nikolai into first place. It all rested on Nikolai's second run where Rogatkin delivered an explosive performance, doing harder tricks on three of the features and claiming a score of 96.5. Another Crankworks first as he became the first rider to win an event on a second run. And the last rider on the track too. Great for the crowd, thrills and spills all the way to the end. This is why Nikolai Rogatkin is our Rider of the Week. He put down two incredibly clean runs to take the win at Crankworks at Whistler this weekend, making him the first ever rider to secure that triple count of slope style and bag $25,000 to boot. And that's not bad at all. Um, hey, what do you think for slope style? Is it more important to execute clean style or to push the boundaries of what can be done? We put a poll just above my head. Get involved. Tell us what you like most. Style or tricks. The Canadian Open DH presented by IXS. It was the Australians who dominated the Canadian Open this weekend, with both Tracy, Hannah and Troy Brosnan taking the win. Brosnan wins four of four in the Canadian Open. He later said to go three in a row last year was something really special and four is just one better. 
Great maths there from Brosnan. Um, for Tracy Hanna, her win marked three of three for the Crankworx downhill event. She later went on to say, I was so bummed to miss Crankworx Rotorua. To make it back mid-year and come to Canada at the end of the season and to be able to finish like that is amazing. Congratulations, Tracy. The Profex Swiss Bike Cup. Right, this is in Villers in Switzerland. The race didn't start well for Ukrainian rider Jana Belamoina, who stacked it just out of the start gate by having a huge OTB over the bars on one of the log obstacles, putting an end to her race run very early. Meanwhile, Swiss rider Ramona Forcini stormed ahead, creating a sizable gap ahead of the others, which she maintained to the finish line to take the win. In the men's race, uh, it proved to be a close battle with riders packed tight, looking for passing opportunities throughout the race. The final sprint was an intense head-to-head -head between Simon Vipsum and Matthias Sternemann, which ended with a five-second lead and victory for Vipsum. Carpavian MTB Epic 2018. Exploring some of the most wild trails in Europe, the Carpavian MTB Epic multi-day event took place at the weekend. 180 kilometers of gut-busting pedaling and 8,500 meters of climbing gave these racers a real challenge. It was Estonian XCM champion Peter Pruce who took this year's win, followed by Marek Rauchfuss in second with Franz Klaus in third. In the women's category, Agree, the multiple Cape Epic champion from Switzerland, Ariane Luthi, claimed the red women's leader jersey and took the overall win. Second place went to Yovana Kronarak, who challenged the big favourite Ariane Luthi throughout the race but couldn't quite manage it. Event of the week, Race Across France. This is a hugely epic race through France, covering 2,500 kilometers in seven days with 40,000 meters of ascent. It started on Saturday and these riders will be put through their paces until next weekend, when it all finishes in the north of France. Thanks for watching this week's race show. Remember to visit our uploader, which is linked below just there and in the description down below. If you have any race picks of the competitions you've entered, or what about the Groms out there? If your child has been racing, then send us a shot and we can feature them here on the race show. Uh, thanks for watching again. I've really enjoyed it. Some great racing this weekend and Crankworks was incredible. Uh, why don't you check out a few of our videos? Play, uh, Blake's Pro Diary from Whistler. And we've got our Newt Proof Mega Old Versus New. Have a look at those videos. Click on the link to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up like and I will see you on next week's race show.